All right, let's go over how to draw blue and beta from Jurassic World Dominion. I'm gonna start with blue because blue is a lot bigger and closer to the camera here. Flat, kind of curved line upward. All right, I'm gonna go about this point, line up, down for kind of that brow. And we're gonna curve this in. <laughs> Pulling out over here for the snout, and I'm gonna angle downward here, front of the snout here. Down here. From this point, I'm gonna grab onto the kind of the back of Blue's head, and I'm gonna pull back, down, curve in, curve out. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, if you like Jurassic World, let me know. Uh, hit that like button. Also, just uh, let me know what you think in general uh, about uh, Jurassic World Dominion. Gonna go over here, curve back, curve under the jaw. Okay. Pulling in, pulling out just a bit, nothing too wild. I won't even really connect those lines that much. <sighs> and right here, I'm gonna <coughs> Excuse me, got a little cough. Gonna find a uh, the eye right here. So right here, gonna go up, down, right here below, curve underneath. Over here for the top eyelid, it's really just a kind of mirror shape of that, that same uh, shape. And curve over here, all right. Let's give Blue a slit pupil, which I uh, heard Raptors in real life would not have slit pupils. There's no way because uh, slit pupils are usually for smaller animals um, like snakes and stuff like that. House cats to line over here. Not line over here. It's a hole for the nostril. <sighs> kind of has that shape to it. Yeah, I'm going to find the parting of the mouth because his mouth is going to be closed or her mouth down over here. Curve up, back. Very serious raptor, right? Very, very serious. Gonna go over here, pull back, curve underneath. Cause his head's ain't his, or is blue or him or her? I think it's gotta be a her, right? Maybe have her head up a little bit, just a bit. I'm gonna curve back here and curve the neck like so and then continue out, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, I got a big cough. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Thin line, as I'm drawing that streak that Blue has on the side of his head, her head. And draw a line forward just a bit. Stern look, kind of with a curve line here and inside, but everything else is going to be um, texture. So right here, I'm gonna draw thin lines right here. Thin, try to keep them thin for scaling around the mouth, right? And then same thing over here, we're drawing these little semi-circles. You gotta put them everywhere, otherwise it look like blue has five o'clock shadow. You want to draw them everywhere. And then let's draw some folding in the neck here. Curve, 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 curve. See a lot with reptiles. And a line underneath here for like a vein. Line underneath here. Down. Line, line. Curve, curve. And I'm gonna draw a little dark area right here under Blue's neck because I wanna make it, just, just to kind of anchor the drawing there, I wanna give it something. And I like doing that, just like a dark spot, usually under the neck, right? Where shadow would be. <clears throat> curve, curve, curve. Line down. 
And that's blue for now. Blue's right there. Now we're gonna draw Beta. Beta is uh, Blue's son and or daughter. I don't know if it's like a son or daughter, but Beta's pretty cute. Cute raptor. Let's go over here on this side, okay? I'm gonna draw, start the head maybe, it doesn't really matter where to be honest. Um, it's gonna be kind of in the background. And let's just say curve here. Start with the head, out, a little bit flatter features. All right. Down. Curve for the lower part of the upper mouth. Back. All right. Go over here. Circle. For the eye. The eye's a little bit bigger, but nothing too wild. I'm not seeing any giant uh, difference there. Curve back. <laughs> and let's pull the mouth a little bit back more, honestly. Back of the jaw over here. Curve back, and it's kind of like the bottom there. So a little bit more square features and slip people as well. Go over here, nostril. <laughs> let's put a little dark around the eye maybe like above it here. Just a little dark right there. I'm gonna curve back, down. Over here, line underneath the neck there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna pull line down. Let's pull line for the back. The tail's gonna go off there. Cool. Over here, curve line for the front of the arm. Line over here for the lower part of the arm. I'm gonna go right here, back to the elbow, up. <coughs> and over here, down. Down over here, and the claws, just like the mother. I'm gonna go over here on this side. Little hand sticking on the far side. Wrist, and then same thing. We got the claws over there. <clears throat> Curve over here. The lower body. I'm gonna go over here where the leg folds, okay? Down to the knee. Back, down. Over here on this side, it's gonna be bigger. Like so, calf down. Let's find the far end over here. Curl over here. And to, that's gonna vignette off both of these. So we're just gonna kind of leave it like so. But over here on this side, I'm going to find the back of the tail and maybe have the tail come out over here on this end, just to show that they're, you know, around each other. This is like one unified image, right? It's not like two random, randomly separate drawings. They're kind of around each other. And let's find uh, Beta's uh, same thing. It's got this thin, very thin. That same um, stripe on the side. Right there, that blue has. And lastly, we're gonna just go into details. Very, very thin lines, thin. I'm doing these half, you know, couple of lines here, maybe semicircles, to actually, to actually find out, well not find out, but try to portray scaling. But since blue's smaller, it might be a little bit more troublesome, so just be aware of it. Try to keep it really light, really thin. Really, really thin. Curving here the neck as well. And 
that is pretty much it right there. That is Blue and Beta. If you have, have seen the movie, let me know. Hit that like button. Um, also, if you want to support the channel, absolutely. Well, you know what? There's actually one more thing I want to do. I want to give a little bit of thickness on the outside of both. Both Blue and Beta. Just on the outside, a little bit of thickness of line. I do that for everything. I just think it looks better. It's actually just proper the way people do uh, line art like in comics. So I like to do it a lot. Just the outer edge and not too dark, but um, just a little bit of a thicker line and it just makes things look better. Oh man, I'm just missing that one like crazy. But um, yeah, if you do want to help the channel out, share the video, sharing it anywhere does a huge, huge, huge thing. Share it on Twitter, makes a gigantic difference. I can um, I can tell as well. If you share it on Reddit, um, there's an auto share button in the bottom right hand corner. If you share it on Reddit, that's amazing. Even if you share it like something like on Tumblr, on um, just anything, it just, uh, yeah, anything, it makes a huge, huge help. It is just as good as like tipping. Uh, if you want to see more stuff and I drew it, let me know. Uh, you know, pay it forward. And I want to thank you very much, guys. You are amazing. Um, I want you to keep drawing as much as you can. And don't feel negative when you draw. Just find drawing to be fun. Fun and you will be able to do a lot of things that you want, okay? if you just try that's it thank you so much i will see you next time all right and if you want to keep learning how to draw and keep pushing your skills go right here to this video on here on this side um that video i put because it's the exact same theme as the video you just saw and it kind of i like it as a bit of a pair so absolutely go check that out right now another short video